Hi there everyone, it's the Cartographer and today we'll be doing Out of Their Misery. It's another time trial, very similar to Not All for Show, in the sense that it gives you a set number of hives to kill, dual pistols and a residual awareness that you had better things you could have done with your time. To take the hard three stars, we have basically a minute 55 to headshot 10 hives, complete all checkpoints and avoid any poison damage. It's a bit easier in the sense that you don't have to avoid all damage whatsoever, you just have to avoid poison damage. There are still bear traps hanging around the place, but it's a bit harder in that the headshots are a little bit more tricky to pull off, which is a bit frustrating. Either way, I'll show you how I do it and we'll take it from there. All right then. All right then, as I said, the um, headshots in this one can be a little bit more difficult to pull off. Once you've shot that first one, turn around and get the attention of this one here and um, get rid of her essentially. She can set, sometimes set off a hive swarm towards you, which is incredibly frustrating as some, most of the time they'll run past. This lady normally is not looking at you, just set, send one shot her way just to let her know that you know that she's there and then move on. You do need to be a little bit quick about things, there's lots and lots of hives on this one so don't worry if you're not... Um, move on is essentially what I'm trying to tell you, if, if things aren't working out just go. You do need to get a little bit lucky with your headshots I'm afraid cash in all the luck points that you've built up over over the years. This one's a bit annoying as well because crouching can take her just out of view. This whole area is absolutely swarming with hives. Look at this. Oh, I thought I was doing okay up until then. Uh, as I said, you can be very, very reckless. You can, you know, get a bit risky, do some parkour. When you get to here, jump onto this bench and just take care of this hive here and relative safety. It's one of those ones where there's an overall time rather than um, a set number of seconds per checkpoint. So, you know, you don't have to be 100% efficient on every single one, but you do have to average a good efficiency if that makes sense. We're doing all right for time here. The, the path is incredibly self-explanatory. Um, there's nothing too fancy you need to do with, in terms of avoiding bear traps. You can already see that I've, I've managed to run over one, which is a bit frustrating. Um, you also do have fire bombs and throwing knives. I wouldn't worry too much about the throwing knives. I think they're a bit unnecessary, but the fire bombs are good for getting rid of far away hives like that. If you do get spotted with a heart by a hive, you know you can just sort of run as we've previously established. There are lots and lots of hives in this challenge, so don't worry too much about absolutely hitting each one. I'd even argue that if you get hit by a bear trap, it's not the end of the world. The, the bleeding does build up over time, but you can survive it for a good period of time. If you can see me, I'm doing all right for time, but I still need this last kill. You'll normally hear where the hives are. Um, chase down the sounds really they're they're not inconspicuous it's really not a hard trial it's saved by the fact that you don't have to avoid all damage whatsoever but it's a bit frustrating in the sense that you do need to get lucky with your hits my advice is be fairly reckless you know run over bear traps don't really stop to stop the bleeding unless you absolutely have to and your health's really quite critical use the fire bombs for some of the far away ones um, but only if you think they're going to cause you trouble. Ignore the throwing knives completely and just hope and pray that your headshots land. You can get really unlucky, you can get really unlucky, and it's just the nature of dual wield pistols, I'm afraid. All right, guys, hope that's helped, and I'll see you in the next one.
Oh. <sighs> 